Okay, guys, so we are here with another leg day. Now, let me start out by telling you I didn't record the first few rounds of this, but I started out with one plate, and I did 15 reps, and I worked my way up 12 and 12 and 10, and then I worked my way up to this. Of course, you know me, I am always repping Blackstone Labs, um, and I always am fueled intra-workout with my BCAAs. So I don't remember how many I got here. Why do I think it was like five or six? This was a workout that I did on Friday. Um, so then what I decided to do is, uh, work my way back down. So I went up and then back down. I didn't necessarily do it as a drop set. That's just a little zoom in of the booty. Um, I worked my way back down and, um, I think I went for, I can't remember what the reps are. You guys can count, uh, as you're listening. Uh, I gotta write this stuff down when, before I make my little video editing since I'm not doing it on the same day. Um, but what I do know is I think maybe 10. And then I did a super long pose on the last one. Then dropped it down again. And did uh, I think 12 or 15 of this one. And then we'll just wait it out and listen to music for a second. And it's all about that squeeze, so please, guys, go back to that video tutorial that I did on the barbell bridges. And then what I did was I dropped it down. Uh, this was the lowest, actually, that I did go. Now I'm remembering. So that 225 felt super easy. Usually I drop it down to the 135. And that's my end set when I go back up and then back down. But the 225 felt so light. And I did a nice long five second hold. Then what I did is super easy and simple. Um, I put a decent weight. And I put the weight, the barbell at not a super crazy heavy weight. But something that's decent enough. And I did four sets of ten. So I'm just kind of like flying through this. I didn't change it. I just really focused on squeeze and form. And my glutes were fired. Like I'm telling you, every single step that I took, it felt like there was something in my glutes. Um, and then I moved on and I really just tried to keep this workout very simple. This was a hamstring and glute focus. Um, even though I did back squats, uh, but I didn't go for heavy weight. Uh, so I did stiff legged deadlifts. And again, I felt really strong. I don't know what it's been these past few days. Uh, and I did attempt this weight and then I realized my, I was losing a little bit of my grip. So I got my, uh, wrist wraps and I did, that is 15 on each side. So the yellow ones are 15s and 35s. And, um, so I did that and I think I did eight or 10 of these as well. So I started out with 10 to 12 and then did eight to 10. Um, and then um, I dropped it down super light and then I did double pulses and added the band for a little bit of extra booty fire for these. So down, down, and then up. Make sure you put that constant tension on those hamstrings and then come up and squeeze. So this is a stiff legged deadlift that I'm doing. So all glutes. Um, and I took, obviously I took the wrist wraps off because I didn't need them because the weight was a lot lighter than it was. Um, and then for this particular one, I superset it with a little bit of band walk and, um, I just went back and forth, nice, tight tension. So you'll notice on this one, I did four rounds of this, not very heavy, but what I did was, you can't really tell in the video, I, you can not see that I'm lifting up my toes, but I'm also pushing my butt. So I'm getting my legs straight and it's actually like that feeling of that stretch of the hamstrings. So the higher your feet are on the um, plate when you're doing the, uh, uh, the uh, leg press, the more glute and hamstring, the lower, the more quad. And then I immediately, you see, I did not put the brake on. I immediately opened up to a super wide stance uh, foot position and did um, uh, another 10 reps. So this I do remember. I did 10 one way and then 10 another. And the wider your feet are, the more glute activation. I will be honest, I stole this exercise from Tristan from Blackstone Labs. They, um, I never even thought to do this machine like this, but I put myself in an isometric bridge and squeezed and held myself up and then did an isometric squat 
and did the bridge. Um, I don't know why I put two of these in the video. Oh, maybe to show you the heavier weight. So I went up in weight on this one. So I did four rounds of this and each time I went up in weight. So on this I did, um, and then I think I put it all the way to the bottom. Yep. Um, and then went super heavy and I did 10 to 12 of the first one and then 12 to 15 of the second one so the first one i was running through super fast and then this which that's actually two times i sped it up a little bit this is fully real time and then i did a drop set on leg extensions and that's it